Stay keen. G'day kids, thanks for tuning in to another Aussie episode. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that way you won't miss out on any of the new videos we put out and it would certainly make my day. In the meantime, enjoy this video. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Aussie here. Now we are back for another awesome Aussie episode and we are gonna do one of my favorite things today. And I know that it's one of your favorite things too. Do you know what this is? That's right, it's a lawn mower, which means we are gonna mow the lawn together. Now today kids, we're gonna have some fun. We're going to mow some lines in our lawn. Have you ever watched sport on TV and seen the awesome lines and the checker patterns that go through the grass? Well, that's done by professionals. Aussie's not a professional lawnmower, but I'm gonna have a crack. So we're gonna see if we can use this awesome little Ryobi push mower and mow some stripes in this beautiful Aussie backyard lawn. Now the professionals, they use a special piece of equipment called a striper, and that goes on the back of the lawnmower, whether it's a push mower or a big ride-on, and that helps push the blades down to create that pattern of stripes or checkers. We don't have that today, so we're gonna try a couple of little tricks adjusting the height of our lawnmower to try and get the same effect. Do you reckon we can do it? I think we can, and I think it's gonna be fun. Now kids, as always, safety first. So, it's Aussie summer here. We're gonna make sure we look after our skin. So we're gonna slap on a little bit of sunscreen. Very important. Am I good? Is it all rubbed in? All right, got my hat, got my sunscreen. What other safety equipment do we need, kids? Well, lawn mowers can be loud, so we're gonna make sure that we've got some ear protection with our ear muffs. And we've gotta protect our eyes, so we've got some safety glasses. Now, the last bit of safety equipment down there is gloves. They're optional. I'm not gonna use those today, but they are another bit of safety equipment if you wanna use them. Then we move on to the mower. We're gonna do our safety checks, but what do we need to make sure is in the mower so that it drives? Well, this mower is a petrol powered or a gas powered mower. So we need to make sure that we've got some fuel, some petrol or gas. And that goes just in here underneath that cap. Now there's a little bit in there, but we're gonna need some more. So you take that cap off. pour it in here, like this. All right, and once that's full, always make sure you put that petrol cap on, both the can and of course, on your lawnmower. Then we're good to go. Okay, so we've got lots of fuel in our lawnmower, just gonna spin it around. So today we're gonna to use the height adjuster on our lawnmower to mow really close and then a little bit longer. And that's how we're gonna get the stripes in the lawn today. So we're gonna use this lever here and that adjusts the deck height. This here is called the deck and this is the height. So we can go all the way from number seven all the way down to number one. See how that's going really, really close to the ground there? Well, that lowers the deck and the blade inside it and cuts the grass really, really short. And then if we go all the way to number seven, see how that lifts that whole deck and the blade up off the grass and cuts it a whole lot longer. All right, so we've got numbers one, two, three, four. What's after four? Five, six, seven. Good job, kids. Numbers one, 
to seven, one being the shortest, and seven being the longest. And let me just show you under here. There's the blade, look at that. Now we don't wanna to touch that with our fingers, do we? No way, because that is super sharp. But that is gonna spin around really, really fast. Really, really fast. And that is going to cut the grass as it's spinning. And what happens with the grass when it gets cut? Shoots out the back into the catch. This here, it's called the catch. So that's empty, that's ready to go. I'm gonna pop that back on our lawnmower over here. And just slide that in there. And she's good to go. Now the next thing would be, to start it, I'm gonna pull this lever and pop this one down to start or run. But before we mow the lawn in the backyard, we need to make sure the backyard's clear. Now being an Aussie backyard, there's lots of play equipment here. So come on kids, come with me. See if you can help me lift this big piece of equipment. Almost ready to start, kids. You can see, I've got a little lawnmower here. If you've got a lawnmower at home and you want to join Ozzy as I'm mowing these stripes, then grab it out in the lounge room or wherever it is that you're watching and push along with Ozzy. That's what kids usually love to do with their grown-ups, isn't it? That's heaps of fun. Okay, we've moved all the play equipment out of the way, or well, those that we can. That's too big. I'm gonna to have to mow around that one. But we're gonna start now, safety gear on, and then we're gonna start working our way around the outside, which is also called the perimeter. Now the height we're gonna start on is number six. We're gonna start on number six. Let's go. Kids, I've just turned the lawnmower off because, as you can see down here, it's starting to leave a little bit of grass behind, which tells me that that catch is already full. We've done a couple of stripes, but this grass is super long. The owner of this house has let it go for a long time, so we need to take that off. Look at that. Beautiful, freshly cut grass. Nothing better in the Aussie summer than freshly cut grass. I'm gonna take this down to the bin and empty it. And there you go, that's empty. Ready to go back on our lawnmower.
It's hot work. Good thing I've always got my sweatband ready. And of course, my water, my H2O. <sighs> She's looking good, looking real good. All right, kids, it's looking pretty good. Time to do some cleaning up of these edges. And to do that, I'm gonna use my trusty line trimmer or whipper snipper, also known as a weed eater. But safety gear on first, then off we go. All right, so we've got the blower here and we're going to get the <laughs> Sorry kids, you can't hear me when that's on. So we've made a big mess here. It's time to use our blower, clean it all up, and then I reckon it's almost job done. What do you reckon kids? I think that is a job well done. That was a lot of fun mowing those stripes into our lawn today. I hope you've learnt lots about lawn mowers and how to have a bit of fun when you're mowing lawn, getting those stripes. But did you know that there's lots of different patterns as well? You can see crisscross, you can see circles, you can see all sorts of wild, crazy patterns. Kids, hope you've enjoyed today's episode. We'll see you on another Aussie episode coming up this weekend. Until then, happy lawn mowing and stay keen. G'day kids, nothing better than after a hard session in the yard, doing lots of housework and yard work, reward yourself with some cold fresh water and an ice block. Stay keen. All right now kids, we've had a lot of fun creating these stripes, we've finished those, but I think this backyard is perfect to turn into a backyard cricket pitch. Everyone loves a bit of backyard cricket here in Australia. So I'm gonna mow one in here and see how we go. Let's have some fun. It's looking good, but I reckon we go shorter.
Look at that. She's a beauty. Let's get the stumps in and roll the arm over. Stumps. All right, all we need is a crease so that we can. I've got the perfect thing for a temporary backyard cricket crease flower. Look at that, kids. We are ready for an awesome game of backyard cricket. Here, roll one into me. Four runs. There you go, kids. Who doesn't love a bit of backyard cricket? And who doesn't love the backyard cricket pitch that we've mowed together today? See you again soon, kids. Stay keen. If you haven't already, make sure you get a grown up to help you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new and exciting videos that we put out. Speaking of new and exciting, if there's a video that you'd love to see Aussie do, make sure you send us a message on our socials, on Facebook or Instagram at Aussie for Kids. We'll see you again soon kids, and until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video, that's right. Stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine.